Okay, so for this video, we're gonna do the five worst NFL uniform redesigns of recent memory. This is not going to involve any throwbacks or alternate uniforms. We're talking about complete uniform redesigns within, I'd say, about the last 25 years or so. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, number five, I have the New York Jets redesign. They made the switch in 2019 from the traditional white helmets with the Jet logo. But what's probably the worst thing of this is the green helmets. They just don't really look that good. And, I mean, it just looks like something out of the Wizard of Oz or something. I don't know. You know, it probably would have looked better if they just added a stripe or something to it. But just those plain green helmets just look stupid. And the big name on the chest, uh, it just looks bad on really any uniform in my opinion. And they also, you know, added black uniforms and put the New York name right on the chest. And as for the alternate, frankly, black is not part of the Jets color scheme. And frankly, these are looking pretty forgettable since the Jets have been pretty bad in these uniforms so far. Next we have the 2013 to 2017 Jacksonville Jaguars uniforms. They lasted only the minimum five years that you have to keep a uniform combination. When a team only keeps a uniform combination for five years, that basically tells you that the uniforms weren't liked or a change was needed. And that's what happened here. They've also changed the logo with this uniform change, which they've kept that to this day. I like the old logo better, but aside from that, the worst part about these uniforms is the multicolored helmet. When nobody in the NFL does something like that, there's usually a reason, and these just look terrible. And the little logo patch is also just pretty unnecessary. You know, it's like, do you need a name tag logo on your jersey too? I kind of think it was just more of the new owner at the time, Shad Khan, wanting to put his mark on the team. And unfortunately, it just wasn't a very good one. So next we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uniforms used from 2014 to 2019. I think the timing of some of these was kind of having Nike involved since they took over the uniforms in 2012. They wanted to, I guess, put their mark on the league with some of these uniforms. And the Buccaneers would just go with this really weird, futuristic looking style to their uniforms. And you know that they regretted doing this because in 2020 they would go back to the same look that they basically had before these uniforms. Really there just isn't much to say other than that the logo is really just too big on the helmets and the numbers and the rest of it just looks too futuristic looking compared to the rest of the league and what they had before. And it was a good switch to go back to what they had before basically. And number two on this list is the Cleveland Browns uniform change of 2015 to 2019. Now I know for a fact Nike had a lot of involvement in this one and I know that this was done as a response to new ownership as after they took over in 2012 they wanted to start putting their mark on the team and making a lot of changes. They renovated the stadium, they changed the uniforms, they changed the logo design, and they even changed the Dog Pound logo. But you know what? I don't even know where to begin with this because, you know, it was just such a radical change from before. You know, you got the big Cleveland on the front and then Browns on the leg, which has rarely, if ever, been done in the NFL before. And fairly quickly on into these uniforms, tenure, they realized that these were stupid pretty quickly. You know, there's just... Too many combinations, too many design elements. The players said the fabrics weren't working well. And frankly, it just doesn't look like anything that they ever wore in the past. So they dumped them after the minimum five years and essentially went back to what they had before. They even tried maximizing wearing their alternate color rush jerseys in 2019 and 2018 to avoid wearing these uniforms as much as possible. And for number one, we have the Los Angeles Rams uniforms being used from 2020 to present. Now, where do I begin? The Rams really just wanted to completely rid themselves of anything 
relating to the St. Louis era. Now, clearly with moving to a new city and stadium, beginning in 2017, they switched their uniforms to have white horns on the helmets and also would use their throwback uniforms more often as well. This was kind of a first step. The logo was modified as well. But in 2020, I mean, they went for a complete overhaul. They changed the logo. They changed the lettering. They changed the numbers on the uniforms. They changed the horns. I mean, frankly, I just don't like any of it. I don't like the name tag Los Angeles Rams on the side of the jersey. I think it's just unnecessary. And that shade of white just looks bad. It's not white. It's not gray. It's just some kind of bad mixed shade of white and gray. The numbers just look kind of goofy looking. There aren't many teams that modify numbers on jerseys. And overall, just a really bad redesign. They should have stuck with the white horned helmets that they had modified in 2017. Those actually looked pretty good, but these look pretty bad. And that does it for the five worst uniform redesigns of recent memory. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.